What sort of people go in for this? Well, uh, there are some ex-merchant seamen and a lot of ex-RAF types. Uh, many times, you do read a lot about ex-Navy types going into it, but almost entirely RAF types. Uh, RAF fighter pilot types who are very adventurous came into this and a uh, uh, lot more of them than ex-Navy types. Now, you've done some smuggling yourself. How much did you make out of it? Well, it's hard to say because we ran on a bonus basis and a monthly salary, a lot dependent on the weather. And uh, But it was possible in 1949 and 50 when I first got into it in the south of France end of it, it was po easily possible to make $1,000 a month. A thousand pounds, sorry. A thousand pounds. thousand pounds a month. And needless to say, all tax-free. Were you ever caught? No, I was never captured on this. Uh, but I, do ha I did have uh, various close shaves. Tell me about some of these. Well, uh, the closest one of them all was in Palermo. Uh, we're running into, uh, we're going to go into a small bay not far from Palermo. Uh, and uh, we had a signal from the shore saying that the two customs bo boats were out near the bay waiting for us. So the shore gang had two alternatives. They had some lorries waiting in Palermo, right in the town, just in case this happened. So they told us to come right into the breakwater in Palermo itself. We went right into the docks at Palermo. We could see people in the trams ashore, uh, make out their faces and everything. We were that close. We were all lit up, and we were loading into these lorries when suddenly the policia financia came screaming down with sirens going and everything else, and jeeps, and they started firing at us, and we, uh, all the shore gang jumped in the water. Some of them made it to the boat, some didn't. We chopped our lines and got away, but we did get 48 direct machine gun hits in the, in the hull and we were making water like mad. We made five tons a day until we got back to Tangier. Do you ever recall a time when you got the better of the customs? In, in a, in well, one of the rather amusing incidents was one time, uh, once again, off the coast of Sicily, an Italian uh, customs plane, uh, Beechcraft Bonanza, was circling us and taking photographs of us and spotting us for the, for the shore customs. We were loaded. We were on our way to shore when they saw us in the late evening, and. Suddenly, the plane went on a hit very low over us, and suddenly it just cut out and crashed into the, just fell into the water like a stone, didn't even crash, just went plop. The pilot forgot to switch the tanks over. So we rescued the pilot and uh, the two-man crew and two customs men, four men, out of, from, the, from the sea, and had them aboard. And then the Italian customs offered us uh, free conduct into Palermo. We brought them back. We, of course, would not accept free conduct because we didn't tr trust them. Just then, there was a NATO exercise not far away, so the NATO was sent out to look for the man, and for us, too. So we went to about 75 or 80 miles offshore and stopped there and waited. And we were, all sorts of negotiations were going on. We wouldn't deal with the Italian Navy, nor NATO, nor the Italian Customs. And finally, an uh, Italian passenger ship that us was on its way from Naples to Sicily went off its course, and we handed them over to this uh, passenger ship. Why did you choose to come and live in Tangier? Well, I just, uh, just liked the place, and I was on my way to West Africa, and I suddenly decided I didn't want to go to West Africa, that I liked Tangier very much. What about the people who live here? Do you like them? Very much, yes, because I find uh, Tangier is all the advantage of a small town with a very sophisticated big town mentality. It's a small place, and everybody wants to know, but they don't judge. And, and uh, they don't want to know how much you make or what you make, or they pick one entirely. And, whether he's a nice chap or not, sort of thing. They don't care what you do, either. No, absolutely not. And uh, the smugglers here used to go to the garden parties at the consulate and all this sort of thing. It was, uh, <laughs>